Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my Let's Make an Open World RPG, Dawnhaven. In this episode, we're going to be um, going over what I've been working on, uh, more specifically the random um, the random dungeons. Um, before we actually get into the random dungeons, let me kind of show you what we have so far. Right now, these are just a template. I'm going to go back in and actually um, map these out. But for now, here are what they look like. And obviously, I would be adding more dungeons later to give it more variety. Um, but it's pretty much simple. Um, as you're walking in the overworld, you're going to see these portals appear. Uh, once they appear, you can enter them. Uh, let me, okay. You can enter those dungeons. Once you enter the dungeons there, you will have an option to either um, defeat all the enemies, kill the boss, and then once you kill the boss, you can, um, the boss will always drop a key that unlocks a chest that also spawns somewhere in the dungeon. Um, now, the, the, um, the reason why you would want to go through these dungeons is they offer you a better chance to find higher quality loot than if you went um than if you um found the chest elsewhere so here's one of these dungeons once you enter it will generate a random number between zero and three um, which pretty much determines the size of the dungeon so if it's zero when you enter it once you head over to the next portal it's just gonna bring you back to where you entered the first portal from if it's one then it's gonna take you to the next level and then um at that point it will exit the dungeon if you head over to the next exit so um that's an error i've just been getting i gotta figure out why that's happening it doesn't happen all the time um i thought i actually fixed it but apparently not but let's go ahead and uh, head back in there Two times in a row. All right. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, so pretty much there was an issue with um, with these two, and for some reason I thought I deleted it from the list, but they came back, and I will be explaining to you what this does um, in a little bit. Uh, so if we go back into the game. Uh, let me kind of demonstrate this one more time. I may cut this part out from the video, I may not, but let's see. So pretty much um, you're walking around, you see one of these appear, you enter it. Um, all the enemies that spawn are, um, are random from a list. Um, there's four types of bosses so far, I will be adding more bosses, but those also spawn randomly. Um, and also with the boss spawning, it's a, um, it's a ch um, up to 10 enemies will spawn with the boss. So, for example, here's one of the bosses, and you can see the minor enemies around. Once you kill the boss, you'll get the key to the chest, which you also have to find. So, I'm going to make these dungeons a little bit more um, intricate. I'm going to add more traps, I'm going to add more um, uh, obstacles and stuff like that, like puzzles. So, you'll have to kind of solve it instead of you just running around in a maze. Um, obviously the chest is locked once you kill the boss you'll get the key or you could just skip it all together and move on to the next um, to the next level now the other thing that you can also do is once you kill the boss from one floor you don't have to use the chest that's um, in that room you could take the key and go to a different room so the reason for this is I'm gonna add another chest um, I'm gonna make it so that, let's say for example, the dungeon has three floors. I'll make the third floor have a chest where you need three keys to open it. Um, so you kinda have to wonder how many floors does this have? Do I wanna use the key now or do I wanna wait to use it later? Because the, the key that require, I mean the chest that requires two keys will obviously have a better um, chance of um, higher quality loot than any other chest. Um, okay, so that's pretty much the system now right now um, I'm still building on this system because what I um, What I'm planning to do is there's going to be another guild in the game They're called the the hunters guild which I've actually kind of started um, You know laying the groundworks of that 
but the Hunter's Guild is pretty much um these portals open up throughout the whole world and it's their job to pretty much um close the portals and you close the portal by um by going through it and siphoning off all the magical energy um and you know that the portal emits um and then it just happens that if you kill the boss and the enemies you gain um better loot you don't have to kill them you could just run through them and every time you run through the dungeon um you gain experience towards um that guild now of course the guild will also give you other quests like for example kill this x amount of bosses in a dungeon or kill x amount of enemies or find this item or some other stuff like that but let me go ahead and show you uh, this isn't really required so I may not run into a um, into a random dungeon in the open world just based on how um, my spawning system works or I might who knows but what I'm pretty much gonna show you guys now is the guild and also um, the way I want to set it up is that you won't be able to just enter the portal you would need um, a special kind of equipment in order to fully enter the dungeon and you know fight the enemies and interact with them and the only place you can get that equipment will be from the hunter's guild So if I want, I can enter this portal now, and then from there I can run through it, kill all the enemies if I want to, um, but they're going to beat me because I have no armor or anything, I'm just going to run naked. It uh, should work, but I think um, I made it so it's not the same um, as character, which I have to fix. But when you jump... Um, no clue what happened there i'll go back and figure it out but when you enter it should lead you to right here where you could then um start interacting with the hunters guild they'll tell you about their their guild and all that other stuff then it's up to you if you want to join or not this is one of those guilds where um you could join freely of the other guilds. so for example the hunters i mean the warriors guild once you join it you can't join the the um the thieves guild and you can't join the mages guild um but um i also do have like the the assassins guild in here where um uh, so pretty much let me go ahead and explain uh to you guys how the system works just in case it is something that you're interested in adding to your own game now i have a lot of things working mm -hmm. together here um one of the um so a couple of things right the first one is this spawn event by Cal. So all it pretty much does is it spawns events from different maps that you choose, or it could even be from the same map. Um, again, I will go back into details and explain to you guys exactly how I use this. Um, and then there's the clone. Clone events. So clone events is pretty much like the spawn event, but it only just clones those events to, um, so you only have to make a template event and then um, clone it to the other maps. So they kind of, all I did, there we go. All I did was make these maps um, in the land zero to seven. Again, like I said, I'll be adding a lot more in the lands in order to make more variety. But for now, there's only eight of them. So, they're pretty much all identical um, in what happens in them because everything is randomly generated. So I can enter this map twice or three times or four times. It will always be different. The Yeah, the layout of the map will be the same, but the enemy location, the types of enemies, which boss spawns, where the chest spawns, and where the exit spawns, those are all randomly um, generated. Uh, so let's take Innerland Zero for an example. If you see up here, this is um, the clone that I have. So this event right here clones in um, event 127, 
from my template map which is my testing hall so all these enemies oops so all these enemies here can be cloned or spawned whichever way I want I mean whichever uh, method I want to use usually with my enemies I spawn them now um, I also have this fog this is the fog that um, that spawns on the open world and this is the one that is spawned inside the actual dungeons yeah that um, okay so um, beginning um, the system let's go ahead and talk about what happens when you um, see um, a portal in the overworld so 